But I tell you what, it's the, one of the glorious times. One of the most glorious times that we are living in. We should be rejoicing. My goodness. Hallelujah. Because we're going to see the glory of God like people have never seen it. Never seen it. Persecution is going to be great. But I tell you what, we're going to not walk through it alone. We're going to walk underneath the, the wings of the Lord. We're going to walk in His presence. And He's going to walk every step of the way. Every step of the way. I tell you, it encourages my heart. It strengthens me. It's nothing to be down and out about. The Lord does not want us to be fearful in heart, but to walk in faith. And that's what I felt on the way over here. The Lord said, I want you to speak concerning faith. Encourage my people to reach out to me and to keep pressing toward me. And don't let the enemy deter them. But keep pressing forth in faith. And he spoke to me that he would increase our faith. Hallelujah. Then the Bible and the apostles said, Lord, increase our faith. And times what we walk through will feel a measure of faith be increased. With this new trial that has come along, I have felt like a just a strength standing up in me. A faith just standing up, increasing in me. Well, that's God. He has increased my faith to meet the measure of the trial. And God will do that for all His children. If you will totally look to Him and not look to the arm of flesh. When we look to the arm of flesh, then our faith wavers. That's the reason we have got to get our minds singled, our eyes singled upon Jesus Christ. Because I'm telling you, children of God, if God hadn't already brought me to this place, I probably would be shaking right now. But it's because of Him. And it's because that I have determined in my heart and purposed in my heart to be steadfast before Him every day. No matter what has come up against me, I have determined in my heart that I would not falter and lay aside the dedication that God has purposed in me. And that's what God is trying to show us. Be steadfast in what God is working in your life. It's all at different measures. But if you'll be faithful and steadfast in what God is bringing you forth in, you're going to feel such a strength and a growth in you like you have never felt. Hallelujah. All that right there just makes me want to rejoice. It does. And just how God has moved in this service today and just swept over us like He has. Hallelujah. Oh, it just makes you want to enter into His courts even more and more and more. I tell you what, there is nothing like an intimate relationship with God. Nothing like... There ain't no man on this earth could ever make you feel like Jesus. And no man. Hallelujah. I tell you what, His Spirit is supreme. His Spirit is mighty and awesome. And I tell you what, He is right ready there to reveal Himself unto each and every one of us. It's up to us. We're the ones that hinder that. But God is saying, don't let your flesh hinder anymore. Kill out that old flesh. Mortify it because it cannot come subject to me. If you'll kill it out, the Spirit will rule and reign in your life. And you will draw nigh to me and I'll draw nigh to you. And I'll bring you in place that you have never been before. And I tell you what, God is right there. He's wanting to open all His mysteries up to us. But it's us that has hindered that. But God is bringing us to a place I really feel in my heart that He is right there before bringing us. Oh, to the next level. Hallelujah! To the next level. And children, God, we need it. Hallelujah! I tell you what, I love Him so much. I love Him, I praise Him. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama, mama, haye, usha, haye. Mo, ye, 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 ye. Mama, mama, hu, so, torre, sa. Ha, u, she, kaye. Hale, u, rabahan, do, ri, she, karay, ye, le, hata. U, ha, 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 ha. No, my children, that I, God. My hand is upon thy life. My spirit directs. 
and lose. And know that my word is in thy heart, and that I have written it upon the tablets of your heart. Look to me. Do not look to flesh, but look to me in these times of tribulation and high waters that rage and that comes against. But know my people that I sustain you and that I keep you and that my faith in the hearts will arise and abound and know that I will even move you forward and I will take you and show you mysteries that many have desired to look into. Many, many now that is hearing my cry. My cry has gone out across this land of America and it has gone out across the nations of this earth. Many are being awakened to my cry and many are drawn aside to the prayer closet and no, stand firm, swap by faith. Even when the enemy comes up against you in your prayer closet, stand firm, my children. Keep walking by faith and know that you're about to enter in into planes that I desire to take you in. And know that if you'll keep seeking me and keep pressing, that I will move in your ministries and in your lives and stir up the gifts and callings that's in you and bring you forth in such a degree that will even astound you and many that hear you and know that it is not you but your vessel that I am using to speak forth my voice in this hour. And my people will speak with one voice. One voice. And my sheep, they hear my voice. And a stranger, they will not follow. And know, my children, that many shakings, many tribulations, and many devastations will take place and are taking place. But do not let it shake your faith. Do not be fearful in heart. But look to me. Lean upon my arm. If you'll lean upon me, I will keep you in this hour. I will seal thee. And I will keep these things from destroying you. And you will be made in this time. You will be made, my children. Be willing to stay upon the potter's wheel. You are the clay and I am the potter. And I am working a work in each of your lives that I desire to work. But my children, you've got to be willing to be made. And if you'll trust in me, put your whole trust in me, know that I will keep you. And I will not let you falter. And I will bring you forth meat for the master's use. And I will make you vessels of honor. And I will use you in this time and season. And I will do great and mighty works through thy temples. And I will even move throughout this land in the lands of the world. And many will behold my glory in my people. Know this is a time that I desire to glorify myself in my people. And know that great persecution is on the horizon. But my people do not faint. Do not be faint in heart. Look to me. Look to me and I will increase your faith. And I will even astound you. And you will walk in places that you have only desired to walk in. And I will visit you in dreams and visions. And I will speak to you my great mysteries. And I will send you forth in this time. Because the fields are white and ready to harvest. The fruit is there and it's plenteous. But my labors, true labors, are few, my people. But I am raising up a people. I am raising up leaders and ministers that I'm setting the flame. I am putting that flame in the hearts of all my people. Bear witness of me in this time. And many souls will be brought in and birthed into my kingdom. And know that I will even astound you. 
എന്റെ 